What's up YouTube? I'm gonna talk to you today about my favorite ZT and this is definitely the knife that got that really set it in stone for me that I like high quality knives. It is the ZT 0562. It's a Rick Hinder design. And this is one of several that uh ZT or Ed well Kai made because there's a few Kershaw Hinder collaborations as well. But anyways um, before this knife, you had the 0550, the 0560, and 61, and then you had the 66. The 66 was a smaller version of the 060. The, 06, the 0560 was a pretty big knife, so was the 0550. And this, when this is, was introduced, this was the just right in the middle size. And it is damn near a perfect flawless knife um i think this is the fourth or fifth one i've had um i just got this in on trade yesterday uh funny thing about it is this has been writ dyed it was orange as you can see and i'm gonna put this in some writ dye remover see if i can get it back to orange but it's been dyed black but anyways um yeah that's it's just a great knife um three and a half inch blade um relatively thin for its size um not sure the blade thickness i think it's around 160 and then great thickness about the similar thickness of a sabenza um really honestly i'd probably pick this knife over getting another hinderer um because it's got closer profile to the skinny that i like but it, got, it has a nice, big, thick, broad blade. Um, Henders now have bearings. The blade stops working thumb studs on this knife, so I can use both thumb studs and the flipper tab. Other than the name on the blade, there's not much difference to me. Um, I, and I actually prefer the handle shape and feel of this knife in general over the XM18. Sure, it may not be as precisionly made, but uh, you also don't have the same. It's not a tactical Lego set like a XM18 is. But what is cool is that there is plenty of aftermarket hardware, scales, and all that for the knife. Uh, has a nice deep carry clip that is very reminiscent of the XM18 clip. This model has CTS 204P still, which is fantastic steel see his low serial number on this one pretty cool smooth action it's on bearings the thumb stud or blade stop action ain't perfect but nice crispy detent you gotta overcome the detent ball to uh, flick it out and you gotta overcome it as well to get it the suck back in or it see, does see it'll do that if you try to do it and you don't do that hard enough this really is gets the knife that started it all for me i got my first one at blade show 2017 2016 yeah 2016 and i got it for 190 it had l max steel um that was just a stone wash blade and titanium this is the only other variant I've had besides that same G10, black G10 stone wash combo. Um, can't, I'm hoping I can get this back to orange because this is <laughs> the variant that I've wanted the most of this knife. And hoping a little die remover will take care of that. Um, up until the Gen 5, the XM18 didn't have lock bar stabilizer. So for a long time, in general, this knife was so close in design and materials and build that it almost was a better option than the XA, XM18 and I still think <laughs> I'm still going to pick it I think over the XM18 I guess uh, it's a sentimental knife to me I guess um it's a great knife I mean there's not a whole lot to say there's been lots and lots of reviews on it I just wanted to give my quick opinion um yeah, I feel like this knife is like the paramilitary too. Even if you don't keep it forever, because I recently just got rid of my 
paramilitary too. Only time since early, early, early 2016 I haven't had one in my collection. It's kind of weird, but not really. But anyways, this is kind of a knife you need to at least experience once. Um, for being a ZT and for being a more overbuilt knife compared to a lot of what's coming out now, this thing is fantastic. This this era of ZT, I think, is uh, the best one. It was in between that early stage when they were just making heavy, <laughs> almost brick-like knives. And this one is the perfect balance of refinement, and hard use, smooth action, cuts great, feels great, looks great. And I just feel ZT doesn't have that same kind of feel anymore. And this is just everything good about the brand all wrapped up into one. Um, check one out. Really, all the Hinderer design ZTs are good. Um, I'm also a big fan of the 0560. I haven't had a 0550 yet, but I've had a 0566, and it's good as well. But this one's the best I've had so far. Um, <laughs> compared to the Spartan I've been carrying all week, this thing feels small, actually. But great knife. Um, not plagued with a bad lockup that... ZT is notorious for it. The spine is strong, tapping it. I've had some ZTs where you can just lightly touch it, the blade will fold, not this one. It locks up great. So, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, check out my other content, uh, comment, like, dislike, I don't care. Uh, give me some feedback, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.